Hi everybody, today I'm doing an incredible meal using triple E filet mignon. If you haven't done filet mignon, you've got to try it. It's very easy to do. We're going to prep the filet mignon with just a little bit of salt, pepper, a couple seasonings. I'm going to chop up some onions that we're going to saute on the stove. We're going to take the steaks out on the grill and get them with some nice wood charcoal and some wood chunk to get some incredible flavor on this meat. We're going to finish it off with some incredible mushrooms and some zucchini. And this is going to be an incredible filet mignon meal. Now the first thing you want to do after washing your hands is take the meat out. We're going to put this on the cutting board and we're going to let it come to room temperature for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now there's a big debate. Do you wash your meat or not wash your meat? I do not wash my beef. There's really no need to do it because you're going to cook it anyway. So I take this out, lay it on here. We're going to let it rest and then we're going to season it up and wait till you see the results. Now we have these beautiful filet mignon from Triple E. This is gonna be simply seasoned. We're gonna smoke it at a low temperature outside for a little while, and then we're gonna hit a hot sear in the pan. It's gonna be absolutely tender, juicy, delicious. And if you don't like rare and red, let me tell you something, you're missing out at the perfect temperature and the perfect texture and the perfect flavor. Now what I do is I put my seasoning on the board and I roll my steak. And that way you can make sure you get a nice even coating all the way across the steak and you don't have it go all over the counter. There you go, a perfectly seasoned filet mignon. Now to cook my filets, I'm using some cutting edge firewood, fantastic smoking wood. We're gonna put it right down here on the coals and we're gonna put our filet mignon on here and get an incredible smoke flavor and finish it off with a nice sear for a delicious meal. I can smell that wood just starting to smolder, which is fantastic. So we're gonna put the filet on the outside of the grill here. So it's not really in direct heat. I've got the charcoal pushed over to this side the fillets on this side, we're gonna go ahead and let them warm up. First, we're gonna go ahead and chop up some onion. Take off that tip. I've already peeled the onion for simplicity. We'll go ahead and we're gonna just basically cut it down like so. And we're gonna get it chopped up. That's good enough for now. And we're gonna go ahead and take some onion. We're gonna mix that up with our incredible trumpet mushrooms, a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and a little shot of wine. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh, and don't forget the butter. Everything's better with butter. Now when I'm prepping, what I like to do is put it in a little Ziploc bag. So when I'm done, I can throw it in the fridge, keep it cold. If I don't have to use it all, I can put it back in the Ziploc bag, put it back in the fridge, and then I have it for, say a morning omelet with little eggs, little onions, little cheese. You're absolutely set to go. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside for our sauteed onions that we're gonna do with our mushrooms. Now when you're in the kitchen cooking, you gotta make sure your knives are sharp. And to do that, I use the Hone Rolling Knife Sharpener. Check out my videos, you'll see I have tons of information on the hone. It is, I believe, the best rolling knife sharpener on the market. There are many out there, but I love this for all the accessories. Check it out and you will see how great this sharpener works. So we'll go ahead and take this knife sharpener. We're at 15 degrees. We're gonna go and take our hex clad knife, stick it on there, and we're gonna go back and forth about 10 times and use the knife quite a bit chopping up today. And we'll go ahead and flip it around, do it for another 10. We're gonna hit it with this ceramic honing and then we're gonna be good to go. So we got 10 on this side, and that's all it takes. Once your knives are fairly sharp, you can keep and maintain in a matter of seconds. We'll go ahead and take this. We've got our ceramic on this side. We'll go ahead and get this going here, say another 10, and then we'll get this going another 10, and we're good to go. We've got our knife all honed, sharp and ready to go. And this knife, it's wicked sharp. Now one of my specialties is garlic whipped corn. It's air fried using garlic whip, and some elote seasoning that's absolutely incredible. Wait to see the results on this corn. Now for these beautiful trumpet mushrooms, we're not gonna go and chop them up very fine. I just wanna leave them in some big pieces. And that way, we can actually taste the mushroom and get that full flavor in there. Otherwise, if you chop them too small, they're gonna shrink down to nothing. You're not gonna really taste that incredible mushroom flavor that we're gonna get out of these trumpet mushrooms with some butter and wine. Now we're gonna add some grilled zucchini. And when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I like to save as much time as possible. So rather than cutting each one of these up one at a time, I like doing the bulk method. I get all the zucchini, I get them washed and cleaned, line them up so the stalks are right at the end. And I go ahead and hold this down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut across the stalk like this. And that way the stalks are done. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut these up like so. And we get all of our zucchini cut. It's gonna go into our grilling pan and put it out on the charcoal grill. And for a little speed cut action, you don't need to look. Use a little bit of an olive oil in here and some seasonings to get an incredible flavor and a nice char. So we're gonna put this on and you can see this thing 
It mists absolutely perfectly. A little Mediterranean seasoning, a little salt, a little pepper. And now it's time to get our smoke on, baby. Go ahead and set on our pan on the grill and get these veggies smoked and grilled. So now we're going to saute our mushrooms and our onions. We're gonna start out with the onions first. We'll turn on our fan so we get the smoke down. And we'll go ahead and get those sauteed with a little bit of butter and some wine. Then we'll add our mushrooms. Let that cook down just a little bit. Then we'll be ready to plate up our meal. Now I love Kerrygold butter, so that's what's going in here, some Kerrygold. Gonna move this around, get this melted with these onions. And I like red onions. Some people like white, yellow. But for this dish, I really want the red. I just think it has a really incredible flavor, especially when you get the butter and that wine in there with the mushrooms. I think the red onions really complement everything a little bit better than the white or the yellow. Now we want these in a high heat because we have some butter in here and we're gonna go and get those onions going, which is gonna extract some moisture. So you don't have to worry, we're not gonna burn anything. And then once these onions start simmering and reducing down, we'll go and add our incredible trumpet mushrooms. I sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil and we have a little bit of salt on them as well to keep that flavor in with the onions. Keep turning your steaks every 10 minutes until the internal temperature is about 125 degrees. Now I pulled my steaks off. We're sitting about 125 degrees and that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna throw them in here, get a hot sear real quick. 30 seconds, we're not gonna do any butter basting. They're already seasoned, you don't need to do that. We just wanna sear the outside, we don't wanna get that core hot. We wanna keep that temperature in there nice and that's perfect. Not going for a super crust, we just wanna sear that outside. And then we're gonna go ahead and let it rest for about seven minutes. Now this is how you wanna cook your filet mignon. Rare to medium rare, absolutely perfect, juicy. <laughs> Can't wait to get a bite. Oh. Mm. Wow, it's gone. Absolutely juicy, tender, and until the next time, we'll see you soon. Smoke on, baby! Keep turning your steaks every 10 minutes until the internal temperature is about 125 degrees.